quite forthcoming. I'll have no trouble convincing the judge to deny any custody. Good. The woman's exhibiting a number of paranoid behavior. I know you're there. She has a pervasive Show yourself, distrust son of, of a bitch. interpreting their motives as malevolent. She believes most people around her are actively plotting against her. Why are you following that me? People are gathering information about her. What do you information want? Information they will somehow use against her. <gasps> Honey, stop! Oh my God, you almost killed me. She's quite unstable. I'll have no compunction about testifying as much. No, we as of now, there are no plans to resupply or relaunch. Yes, of course. Yes, I, I know. We like the way it smelled too, but unfortunately, we can't risk anyone getting sick. Yes. I'll have her yes, just send it all back COD. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hi. Thank you for holding. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to talk to our legal department about that. Hold on. I'll transfer you. How goes it? It's freaking insane. I just want to open a vein now and get it over with. Crawl in bed with Jake and never come out. Do a regular disaster drills around here, don't they? Yeah, of course we do. Uh, fire drills, natural disaster drills, uh, hazardous material drills. So anyway. the hospital's prepared for the worst. Yeah, I'd like, like to think that we're, uh, thank you, prepared. But why, why do you ask? It's just my sixth sense. I'm telling you, it's gotten so bad that I'm scared to even look at my cards anymore. I mean, so many dire readings and, and bad signs. And, and the dreams every night, another premonition that just curdles my blood. Horrible, horrible images. Well, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I have misread the cards. I have misread the signs. But this time, there's so many of them, and they're all around me. All the time, I just know that something awful is coming to Pine Valley, and it is going to shake every single one of us. <sighs> what is it? Last night, in my vision, it was about him. It was about Ryan. Hey, guys. Hey. What's up? Welcome home. You must be exhausted. Mm, yeah. I gotta go back for more abuse. This whole Bella mess is killing us. How are you? I'm fine. Then again, I got sleep last night. <laughs> yeah. I am running on fumes. What are you up to? I just, you know, do some research on the case. Mm. Well, I'm just gonna um, shower, change, and then go back to the madhouse. Hey, come here. this yourself where's your little partner in crime miss bella herself someone was was out here watching me i had to stop him it's okay nobody's trying oh, no to... it's not okay she tried to take a swing at me with this i am so sorry i thought you were whoever's been stalking me jerry she's going through a lot right now i don't care she tried to take my head off you don't understand i understand you're crazy I am not crazy. Okay, come on, let me take you upstairs. No, someone is doing this. Don't you see that? Someone is setting me up to make it look like I'm crazy. Yeah, doing a fine job of it. 
It's Greenlee. She's doing all this because she wants me gone and she wants Ryan to get full custody of Emma. And if the judge has any sense, that's exactly what's going to happen. You're a fool. Annie, stop it. All of you. Don't you see? She's playing you. Just like she is Ryan. You know, maybe the judge would be interested in hearing exactly what happened here. JR, please. Okay, you're making things worse right now. Stay out of my life. I am warning you. Do not interfere. Whoa. Meltdown City. You know, I think we're getting out of here just in time. Dr. Price, it's Annie Lavery. Yes, Annie? I have to see you. Well, the custody hearing is only a few hours away. Can't I wait until we see each other there? No. I need to see you now. Very well. I'll be expecting you. I think something's happened. She sounded quite upset. She's realizing she might just lose her child. The strep prescription. You, by the way, are her new favorite doctor. Thought you'd be having your dad. Yes. <laughs> Opal? You okay? She's having bad dreams. Oh, Jake. Well, you... Oh, that's me. Where's my antique? Oh, that's me. Gotta go. All right, you two, take care. And uh, listen, don't worry, okay? Because I think we're ready for just about anything. Hey. Opal, these, uh, these dreams you have, are they like, you know, regular dreams? Or are they, you know, your kind of dreams? I've been having some pretty bad omens lately. A whole truckload of them in, in the cart and, and in my visions and, um... What? What? Opal, what, what, what is it? What have you seen? Well, bad stuff. And last night it was, uh, I saw you. You were on a beach and, and it was the biggest, broadest full moon I ever saw. And you were looking for something or someone. And, and then all hell broke loose and the waves got big and angry and the, the sand was blowing all around you and it, it, it blinded you and you, you were you were calling out to someone. For who? Oh, someone you loved, someone you cared about and, and lost. Could it be Jillian? Could Jillian maybe be, be trying to get you another message? Uh, Oh, I don't know, but I, I remember the look of pain on your face the night you lost her. And that was the same look I saw in your eyes last night in my vision. Everybody's got to take care of themselves now, Ryan, please. Something is coming. That much I know. I know that for sure. <laughs> Feeling better? Yes, much. I just have one more thing to do. Mm. I wish I could stay here with you. Well, I have about ten ways to persuade you. Mm. Mm. I can't. I can't. Uh. Not because I don't want to. I just I'm having a crisis at Fusion, and I have to help put out the fires. You understand? Of course I do. I love you. I love you, too. And I'll make up for it later. I promise. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Greenland, did I forget your, um, earrings, darling? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good to see you.